Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you follow the news, you might have seen guys, there has been an outbreak of E. coli in the country and approximately 200 people got infected with about 60 of them being in the hospital with a fairly serious conditions. It's appeared in the news guys initially where they withdrew some sandwiches and wraps from sale. Mostly of them were like a chicken salad sandwiches and chicken salad wraps. So initially I would have thought that was due to the chicken. But we recently found out, guys, this is actually due to the lettuce. So for all of you not aware, the E. coli is a bacteria that lives in the fecal matter of animals. So what potentially would have happened there, they've either fertilized the field, okay, and then put the salad or grown the salad sooner than one year. One year is a time when you need to have the fertilizer to sit in the ground without growing the crops like that. Or alternatively, the fecal matter got sprayed or just through the animals being around the field and something like that. Reading further, guys, I also actually understood and it came a little bit of a shock and it might come a bit of a shock to you. Um, they actually wash your salad leaves and lettuces with bleach and then rinse it and then package it in plastic and then put it up for sale. I never thought, I know that do this with certain things, but I certainly would never imagine them rinsing my lettuce with bleach. So guys, what we're gonna do? Well, I'm certainly never, 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 ever gonna trust the lettuce from the supermarket. So let's go in the garden and grow our own. So guys, this is one of my salad beds and the salad here has been planted approximately six weeks ago. And as you can see, they're doing rather well. So apart from one, it's decided to basically bolt for some reason. Uh, bolt means it's going to seed because probably of the temperature fluctuations. Nonetheless here guys, you can see I've got the selection here and each and one of those will become a really nice cob of salad. So let me go and show you the rest. So guys here we're in a greenhouse number two and I wanted to show you that I have one of those which is the tub full of lettuce and again what we're doing we're successionally sowing so if you want to be able to have your salad all the way through the summer what you do guys you sow something and then three four six weeks down the line you sow it again so by the time the other lettuce grows and we harvested it this lettuce will be ready to plant on its place this one is the curly variety so it's one of those like curly head things and this comes in the brown and green so they are planted really close together but guys by the time we come to separate them and they'll do perfect perfectly well at the same time now okay you might be thinking well probably it's too late to start guys it, it is not guys it's never too late to plant lettuce one thing the lettuce hate is a very very hot weather so if we're going to be blessed with the really hot sunshine that will be going outside somewhere in the shade because it will go to seed very very quickly so for me to avoid guys and for us to avoid because they are unfortunately threatening us with the shortages of lettuce for obvious reasons and to be fair I don't think many of us will be trusting the short-bought lettuce or in fact any of the salads. So my suggestion guys to you is pick up some seeds. The seeds are very very inexpensive and there's a lot a lot of seeds there. Uh, the varieties you can buy up literally it's huge. There is far more to the salad than the lettuces you get from the shop. I like to have the mixed ones, they're basically like a cut and come again salad. They you, means that you grow them, you can harvest them and you cut the leaves and they'll grow again. These kind of salads can be done in the same, exactly the same way. So being myself as, as a prepper and wants to be ready for everything, of course, I'm going to be sowing some more lettuce. I'm not going to show this to you guys on camera because it is very, very easy. But uh, to be able to cater for the shortages of or potential shortages of salad and my not trusting the government anymore, um, I'll be using a big black tray here filled with compost and all you got to do just sprinkle a little bit of seeds on top a little bit more compost and water this and all I'm going to be doing I'm going to be growing some of this in the greenhouse and some of this outside as I do already in the big pot successionally guys if you only have a small space just plant in the half of your pot or your area and then say six weeks down the line plant on the other half so you have a constant rotation you have a constant space where you're able to grow yourself lettuce so guys, please, please, please do not trust the salads from the supermarkets. I honestly, I'm absolutely appalled that we're going to the stage that we're now poisoning people with E. coli with the lettuce. So grow your own guys. It's very simple, very easy and very cost effective. And you'll be thanking me for it later. So thank you for watching guys. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.